Hello and welcome to the first uh, video that I'm making here for What About Canterbury. Now this is um, going to be an ongoing thing where I'm going to have um, lots of things about what you can do in Canterbury, in and around Canterbury, in and around Kent as well. I'm going to include all of Kent, not just going to be about Canterbury. But my aim is to inform people that live here and also those that are coming here for a visit what Kent has to offer and what Canterbury has to offer. So this is the first one and this is going to be um, five dog friendly pubs. Now, if you are bringing your dog into Canterbury or if you live in Canterbury and just looking for a place to for you and your dog to have a relax and maybe a, a glass of wine or a beer or something like that, then I wanted to show you five places where you can do that. Plus, if you wait to the end of the video, there'll be one extra place, not in Canterbury, but it is in Kent and uh, it's not far from Canterbury actually, and that would be one bonus one as well. So first of all, we have the Two Sawyers Ale House and Kitchen. Now this is um, this is in the heart of Canterbury, and it is dog friendly as far as I'm aware. Now obviously if this has changed, if they're no longer dog friendly, then do let me know in the comments. Alternatively, if you know other pubs that are also dog friendly, don't be afraid to put them in the comments as well. Uh, because obviously I want this to be a community of people who share information and stuff like that for anyone who might be coming into the area. So if you know of an other dog friendly pubs in Kent or in Canterbury, please put them in the comment section as well. And also if you can subscribe, that would be fantastic as well. Because obviously the more people I can reach, the more help I can give to people in Kent and also people who visit Kent every day. Okay, so this is the first one, as I said before. This is the Two Sawyers Ale House and Kitchen, and it's in the middle of Canterbury. And you can see the gallery there, that's the uh, that's the picture of the pub itself. I'll see if I can zoom in on that a little bit. There you go, see, that's the uh, that's the pub itself. And it is, um, it's a very nice pub actually. It's very nice on the outside, it's got, does a lot of entertainment, very nice food. And there, there's the, uh, there's the address down in Ivy Lane in Canterbury. So not out, not too far outside of the actual main High Street of Canterbury. So uh, if you're in Canterbury having a look around or, or a bit of a sightsee, then this is a, a pub very close by. Same as this next one, number two, which is the Miller's Arms. Now the Miller's Arms is um, also near Canterbury itself. It's uh, just on the outside and they are dog friendly. I know that for a fact because I've taken my dog there before. And uh, this is the one, they're on the corner of, uh, of the road there and they're by the um, they're by the, the dam. There's a dam that's um, across the river and uh, you, you can see that if you go out there and you can you can watch the, the water cascading down the dam and things like that. And they're just outside of there. They're in Mill Lane in Canterbury. So if you are anywhere near Mill Lane, then do check them out as well. They, uh, they are very good as well. They have great food. They have rooms as well in case you're looking for a place to stay. So that's great as well. And um, and they also have a brewery tour, which I didn't realize until I saw their website, but they have a brewery tour as well, which is absolutely fantastic. So yeah, go and go along and check them out if you're in the area as well. Number three is the White Hart Inn. Now this is, um, it's called Canterbury's Hidden Gem. I think it's because it's a little bit out of the way, but it has, look at this fantastic uh, beer garden they have got here. Uh, that's the place on the outside, the White Hart Inn. And it's, it's, a, it's quite a small pub on, from the outside, but inside it's a bit bigger than it looks. And they also have some very nice um, food as well, as a lot of the pubs do these days. They have very nice food. You can see the pub garden there, which is very big. And uh, and they do cups of tea as well, if you fancy a cup of tea rather than something alcoholic. So, and there you go. They're in Worthgate Place in Canterbury. So uh, if you're near Worthgate Place, then do give them a try as well. Number four is the Unicorn Inn in St Dunstan's. Now these are, I've been in here as well, this is a very nice pub, and they are, <laughs> I, I, I don't want to think I've been in every pub in, in Canterbury because I haven't, I've been in quite a few. And uh, and they are dog friendly mainly because they also tell you here, look, dogs welcome. And they've got various things going on as well, for charity music quizzes and stuff like that. And uh, they, they do have um, some very nice drinks in there and food as well. Good beer, good food, good times is their uh, motto, and uh, it certainly does live up to that. So that's the Unicorn, which is in St Dunstan. So again, if you're in that area, check them out while you're um, walking around. The fifth one is the Old Coach and Horses, which is um, which is a very nice pub. The, the photos on here are a little bit generic, so it doesn't give you a lot of idea of what the place actually looks like. But it is a very nice place. These are the guys that run it. And um, it is a very, it is a very nice place actually. The food is very good, and so is the beer. This, that's, that is a picture of the outside, 
Uh, I don't know, obviously, you have to check with the with the pub when you arrive whether you can have dogs in the pub or outside in the garden. Most of the time it's going to be in the garden. But uh, it looks very nice and it's a, it is a very nice place indeed. And uh, they also have their own blog there if you want to talk to, if you want to read a bit more about them. You can book, obviously, parties over six rooms and events. And this is where they are, the Old Cultures Horses Church Hill in Harble down in Canterbury. So a little bit outside of Canterbury itself, but still a very nice place to visit. So if you're going anywhere near there, don't forget to give them a try as well. Now, this is time for the bonus pub. Now, this is a pub that I've, again, been in myself. but um, And they are dog friendly. I know that because I've taken my dog there as well, very recently, in fact. And this is the King Ethelbert Inn. And the King Ethelbert Inn is down in Reculva, which is a very nice place. It's a place where I walk my dog quite often. And uh, the pub is very nice as well. It's a very big pub, very spacious. They've got a beer garden, which is uh, which is very nice as well. And they had a, they actually had a, um, a hog roast there the other weekend, which was incredibly nice. And these are, um, this is very near to the Reculva Beach. There's a play area there. There's a cafe on the other side. So there's lots going on there if you want to take the kids down. And it's, although it's a little bit outside of Canterbury, it is a very nice place to go. So if you do, if you are heading out for somewhere, if you've got somewhere to take the kids, if you want to uh, experience a bit of the seaside, then you know for certain that this is a pub that's going to accept dogs as well, as does a lot of places around Kent. But I thought that uh, these particular ones I would highlight for you. As I said in the comments, please do let me know if there's other pubs in the area that are also dog friendly and don't forget to share that with information with everybody else here and also if you've enjoyed this video please do think about subscribing and liking and all of that good stuff because it really does help the channel and i want to try and grow this to uh, reach as many people as possible none of these pubs are sponsoring the show so i've got no vested interest in any of these places these are just ones that i know personally and ones that i've heard are dog friendly so remember these ones are ones that you can go and check out if you're in and around Canterbury. Thank you for joining me. I hope you have a very good day and I'll see you again soon.